to come. There we go. Woo! So, the greatest gift of gardening, to me, is the restoration of your five senses. In addition to spending time with family and enjoying the time in their garden, it really gives you an opportunity and a chance to reflect on what is truly important uh, when you're out gardening. So, five senses. This is Jack. He's four. And he's going to talk to us about sight. So the vision for a garden is three basic things. Where is your garden? What's in your garden? And what are you going to plant? So when you're talking about what is your garden, it's a garden box. Uh, here in Phoenix, we're blessed to have caliche soil. So you need to import your own soil and make it. It's comprised of uh, three simple things. Uh, but, but before that, garden box should either be redwood or cedar. Those are the two best woods to grow your box. Uh, from a soil standpoint, you need 100% organic compost, no animal byproducts, strictly plant-based soil, peat moss, and vermiculite. If you have those three things, you're bound to have an incredible garden. It's that simple. And once you have your soil into place, it's picking the right vegetables and the right fruits to grow that really satisfy what you want to do. Whether it's tomatoes, cucumbers, butternut squash, or watermelons, uh, you really have the opportunity to grow anything that you want to here in Phoenix. We're blessed to have this environment. And this is Lucy. She's two, and she is my best gardener's assistant ever. And we're going to talk about smelling, the sense of garden. Um, one of her favorite things to do when she's in the garden is to literally smell everything. Um, it's what she does best. And whether it's the sense in the morning, uh, there's something being in the garden first thing in the morning and smelling the smells that you smell. Uh, and there's something late at night when you're watering the garden uh, that really does bring out the smells and you capture it that really makes you appreciate the food that's on the table when you're in the kitchen. Um, growing your own vegetables and your own fruits drastically increases your appreciation for what you experience in the restaurant and what you experience in your kitchen. And to me, my favorite sense the tomatoes. And in addition to Lucy smelling everything, she's eating everything. <laughs> so half the food... Uh, never makes it to the basket because it ends up in her tummy, as she calls it. And this is her eating one of our, uh, our cherry tomatoes. Um, and really, that's the most important thing. Um, when you are growing your own vegetables, especially in the soil that you create, the organic vegetables taste so much better than the vegetables that you get at the grocery store. It's a night and day difference, and if you've experienced, you know what I'm talking about. The other cool thing is, you get to grow varieties of vegetables that you will never find in your grocery store and that you will never find sitting on the stands in other stores. Vegetables like green zebra tomatoes, you cannot find them anywhere, and the taste of them is unforgettable. So the other cool thing is, is once you get your neighbors hooked onto it, and that's the thing I want to remind you, is get your neighbors hooked onto gardening, because they'll grow vegetables that you won't grow, and then you get to share everything. And it really does create a good dynamic and a good vibrancy within your neighborhood. Um, so these, this is Jack. He's my four-year-old. And one of his favorite things to do is dig while we're in the garden. And unfortunately, whenever I plant seeds or plants, he ends up digging them up. So I end up having a week later to go back and replant everything. Uh, he loves it. I love it. So, heck, it, uh, it, it makes us all happy. Um, but really, his favorite thing is, though, getting his hands in the garden. And one of the most important things when you are in the garden and once you're back at your table enjoying your fruit is that it is the fruits of your labor. You do get to eat and you get to experience all the time and effort that you put into growing your own carrots, your own tomatoes, your own lettuce. And I can't stress it enough that you can share this with your neighbors and share it with your family because when you do have a garden, you're going to grow so many vegetables that you're going to have to share it. And this is Lucy's ear, and I want you to really hear me, that you can grow your vegetables in your garden. It's that easy. Whether you're in a house or in an apartment or a condo or wherever, if you have a pot, the right soil, and the, white, and the right water, do it for the vegetables, do it for the experience, and do it for the heritage. Because in years to come, they're going to remember that, doing it with their family, doing it with their parents, and they're going to be able to share that tradition for years to come. It really was a tradition for me, and I can't wait for them to pass it on uh, in later generations. So my name is Chris. If you have any other questions, I'll be off to the left or your right afterwards, and uh, look forward to seeing you all later. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks. <laughs>